name is Mark Graham. I'm the Vice President of Real Estate Assets and Community Relations for Cal Energy Operating Corporation. And we're here at the Hope Plant, which is one of our geothermal plants at the southeastern shore of the Salton Sea. Well, we take hot water, or brine as they call it, and we bring it up through wells out of the ground. It's like artesian wells. We don't need pumps to pump it out of the ground. It comes naturally out. You dig a, it's like putting a straw in a soda, though. The uh, liquid comes out the top. That's basically how this works. And so that hot water comes up through our wells, which are about a mile down in the ground. It comes up, we take that hot water, and we extract the steam by, by depressurizing it and extract the steam. The steam is run through a turbine which generates electricity and that's put on the line. Then the hot water that's left over from that process we clean out and we re-inject it again back in the ground to renew the resource and be able to use it again. Well as a renewable energy the the RPS renew, a renewable portfolio standard that's been put in place by the governor up to 33 percent by 2020 uh, it's made uh, renewable energy sexy if you will and it's put the focus on it and so more people are looking at generating that electricity all the utilities need to to raise their standards since we're only generating about eight percent in the state right now of renewable energy and so to raise it to 33 percent by 2020 is a huge task and so that's bringing new players into the game and and uh, gen uh, geothermal energy is a base load energy it runs 24 7 and so it's going to go hand in hand with solar and wind Whereas solar needs the sun and it's going to run during the daytime and wind needs, uh, will generate electricity during the windy times. We run 24-7, so that's going to be the base for the transmission to get on the line and for these utilities.